there guys, WolfTM2008 here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can lock and keep your folders private in Windows 7. Now for this we need to go onto the internet and download a nice and simple program for us to use. So go over to whatever browser you are using, in this instance I'm using Google Chrome, and go to the following web address, https colon forward slash forward slash code dot google dot com forward slash p forward slash lock hyphen a or a hyphen folder forward slash. Now this link will be in the video description, so head over to that once you get to this stage. Just pause the video, download and then carry on. So project is no longer supported but it doesn't matter at this stage because it does work as I have tested it. Now there is two downloads, one is 32-bit and one is 64-bit. So I want the 64-bit for my operating system. You can check your operating system by going onto the start button, right clicking on computer and properties. And as you can see it says Windows 7 and 64-bit OS. So I need the 64-bit version. Now, Avast is coming up with a file warning because it's very rare that this is used because not many people use it. Um, it is safe to complete the download. I've even scanned it with malware bytes. There is no malware whatsoever. It will not harm your computer in any way, shape or form. To basically verify this for you guys, I'm just going to right click and scan with malware bytes. And it's just going to do a scan on this particular download. And as you can see, it's returned up with no errors, so it is absolutely fine. Okay, let's exit out of that and double click on the executable. Of course, we need to say yes to any user account control options, and we need to agree to the T's and C's and for the directory folder and so it'll ask you if you want to run it straight away or and or sorry create a start menu and desktop shortcut now i'm going to keep the both of these checked for the time being so it'll ask you to choose a master password you need to remember this password at all times otherwise you'll not be able to get access it will ask you to verify it again So this is the interface, I'll just minimize and close both of these. Okay, so I want to lock a folder um, in my personal downloads. I want to keep batch file locked and I also would like to keep fire service locked. So both of these are now locked. If I exit out the locker folder and then go into my documents, you can see there is no folder called batch files or fire service. So it actually stops the user from clicking on them entirely. Which is pretty darn good. So if you get somebody coming on and it's a shared computer with one password for everything you can put on this piece of software and keep everything private for people who don't want who you do not want to see it now this software will only lock folders so if you have for instance documents pictures pdfs that you want to keep safe all in one location if you pop that into a folder and name it something appropriate i don't know like secure items and then you go into lock a folder and then enter your master password it is case sensitive as well by the way I thought I should mention that it will keep your secure items folder hidden and secure so nobody can click on it now to simply unlock these we can not do multiple so it's one or the other we can unlock like this 
and then they will reappear back in the documents. So this will even do it for folders that you have in videos, downloads, music, pictures. It's a really, really clever tool for Windows 7. It's also compatible with Windows XP and Vista. And I've also found screenshots saying that this will be compatible for Windows 8 as well. So if any of you out there on Windows 8 are willing to give it a go for this software and have a look and leave your comments and you could also leave a video response so the other viewers can see. Be really much appreciated guys. So that was just a quick, simple video to show you how you can lock down your folders with lock a folder. Once again, the download link will be in the video description. My name is WolfTM2008, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I shall try and look at the comments, which is increasingly difficult with uh, Google Plus integration. But as for a different video, many people have already said their views on it. I go with the majority of them. So, until next time guys, I will see you later.